but I'm going to get into my video about hair porosity and why it's important. If you have very kinky, coarse, snappy, knotty, 4C, type 4, um, <laughs> any of those kinds of hair, why hair porosity is very important for you to understand. Um, I myself have very high porosity hair. Some people who are very knowledgeable about porosity can just look at my hair and be like, oh yeah, she has high porosity because that's how apparent and how porous my hair really is. Um, so yeah, what is hair porosity? Basically, it's exactly what it's saying. It's how porous your hair is. So porosity is basically the ability for your hair to absorb and retain moisture, aka water. Water is the only thing that really moisturizes our hair. Products, you know, they can make our hair more manageable. They can help moisture or aka water stay in our hair but products aren't the best thing to moisturize your hair water is the best thing to moisturize your hair products can be good for sealing in that moisture depending upon your porosity and that's why it's important to understand your hair's porosity before picking out products but products is not the main thing that moisturizes your hair and that's why a lot of people recommend people use products with water as the first ingredient because water is what moisturizes so if your hair is high porosity, it's very porous, it has a lot of different ways for water to get into your hair, but as easily as water gets into your hair, water comes out. So it's really hard for you to keep moisture in your hair and seal in moisture. And that's the kind of porosity I have. Low porosity is the exact opposite. Um, the cuticle lays really flat on low porosity hair and it's hard for moisture to get in but just as hard as it is for it to get in it's that hard for it to get out so once your hair is moisturized with low porosity hair you're pretty much safe you know your hair is moisturized and that water ain't going nowhere and when you have medium or normal porosity I hate using the word normal because you know high porosity is normal to me because my hair is normal to me but anyway um, if you have medium porosity hair moisture goes in and moisture goes out and moisture goes in and moisture goes out and you don't have to worry so hard about keeping your hair moisturized because water leaves it so easily or trying to get water into your hair because it doesn't get in you pretty much have a balance of water going in and out and your hair stays well moisturized generally most of the time let's use pasta as an example I actually have some pasta. So I actually went and got some spaghetti, some little organic spaghetti. Y'all know how I do. Yeah. Um, it's already open, so I'm just going to take one of these out. Now, imagine this is your hair. Can you guys, I hope you guys can see this. Let me, I'm going to get three just to make sure you guys can see it because it will be so sad if I recorded this and then I go to edit it and y'all can't even see the spaghetti. But imagine your hair is this spaghetti. And right now it's dry. And what happens to dry things when you bend them? It breaks very easily. So if this spaghetti is your hair and it's like your hair being dry without water, water is what makes your hair resilient. It's what helps it bend and move and be healthy and not break, you know? So when you have low porosity hair or you have high porosity hair, your hair is much more prone to breakage because it's much harder for water to get into your strands. If this spaghetti was cooked and it had water flowing all through it, it would bend. It wouldn't break so easily. So um, it's important to be mindful of your hair's porosity so that you can go about moisturizing it correctly. Now if you're a 4C natural like I am and your hair is very coarse, it feels like it's dry all the time, um, it breaks very easily, it mats very easily, it gets frizzy super fast when you go out into the humidity, most likely your hair is high porosity. You don't got to do a strand test um, and a lot of people say the strand test is inaccurate but um, if your hair has those characteristics especially the one of feeling dry all the time, very coarse to touch like my hair, um, most likely you are high porosity and what you need is very very thick sealants to seal the moisture into your hair. I break a lot of natural naturalista rules or whatever and a lot of times I don't feel comfortable saying certain things that I do whether it's detangling in the shower and never detangling outside of running water or 
not wearing my bonnet all the time even though I have a silk pillowcase or using regular rinse out conditioner as a sealant I'm guilty I do it all the time it just works for me I know to seal moisture into my hair I need very very thick sealants I love shea butter I love castor oils and I love different conditioners I use VO5 mainly I I just may I mainly use VO5 that's my conditioner um, and I don't always rinse it out and it smells super good too but you know that's just my little tidbit about <laughs> really thick sealants if you have high porosity hair you need very thick sealants you don't have to follow in my bad footsteps and use rinse out conditioners you can use butters oils anything thick cream creamy products very thick products those are really good for you to seal moisture into your high porosity hair if you have low porosity hair um, to get moisture into your hair steamers are very helpful um, but back if you have high porosity hair so our hair it loses moisture so quick like as easy as it goes in it's out your hair feels dry all the time you probably feel like your hair is never moisturized and I just come to the conclusion that my hair, as coarse as it is, as thick as it is, the way that it is, it's just going to feel dry all the time. Even when my hair looks its best, like I have a popping braid out, it's on fleek, it looks great. When you touch it, it still feels dry. Like a lot of people are probably looking at my hair right now and like it a lot. If you were to touch my hair, you would be so shocked like I lied to you now you would be so shocked my hair is so dry to touch but I've been able to grow it and it's because I'm aware of my hair's porosity I try to keep moisture in it all the time I know even when it is moisturized it still feels dry the only time that my hair feels soft is when it's wet as soon as it's dry it's dry like that's it but I know that that's my hair's texture so if you have high porosity hair and you find that you're always trying to get it to be a certain type of way that it's not and you've never actually accomplished getting it that way maybe that's just not what your hair is meant to do and these are conclusions that I've had to come to across my natural hair journey you know over time there's so many things that I had expectations for my hair going into it um, getting my hair to lay flat in a bun or ponytail not gonna happen for me um, having my hair feel soft to touch like silky soft not gonna happen for me even when it's straightened like straightening is the closest that it'll get to that but it's still not that um what else getting my edges to lay without relaxer not gonna happen there was a time where i did relax just my edges <laughs> And my edges are completely natural now, but there was a time where my edges were relaxed and some of y'all may want to consider that, but anyway, yeah, there are certain things that I just had to come to the conclusion that that's not going to happen for my hair and that's completely fine. Everybody has different hair, you know, so the sooner you learn your hair and learn what your hair can and can't do the sooner you can be beautiful in your own unique way because just because you can't do what somebody else's hair does doesn't mean that you can't be beautiful you just are going to be beautiful in a different way so yeah it's very important for type 4 naturals to understand hair porosity i can't stress that enough and a lot of people just look at the hair typing chart and they're like oh I have 4C hair or oh I have 3B hair but they don't understand hair porosity so you really need to understand hair porosity and also hair density when deciding how you want to go about taking care of it. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope I hit some points that really helped you guys. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more from me you can follow me on my other social media platforms or subscribe to me here or both that would be great so yeah thank you guys for watching i really enjoyed making this video um thanks for watching guys see you in my next video